Right, folks, we've given that a little while just to. Now, if you take your your pot, now be careful if you've if you've already cut this, but I actually resealed it back onto the the bat again because I locate that on top of there. Now this is where you see how well you measured. Okay. Right. Now when you're happy that that's in the middle, as it were, take your your wire or your nylon, whatever you use to cut, and and cut him off, okay, like that. Now as I told you, I left a hole in the top. Now before I start putting my hand and trying to open that hole and make it bigger, I've got to make sure that I've got at least some kind of a of a join here. So what I do with my finger, I work over this edge like this, just going round and round in circles. Okay. Because potentially this top part could sort of slide off one way to the left or right. So by doing this, I am meshing these two together. Now because the important thing here when you're doing this kind of joining work is is to get the, the hardness of both of them the same. The nearer they are the same, the better the join, the more unified the join will be. Okay, so your actual, when you make two piece pots like this and your the actual, the time from when you've actually made them to the time that when you join them together is actually very important. So, I recommend you don't leave them out in the draughts and the winds because they'll find that they'll dry more on one side than the other. There'll be different hardnesses and when you come to stick, put them together, you'll have problems. Now these two, last night, before I went to bed, I, um, I sprayed them with this all over, inside and out, and then I, I wrapped them in plastic, okay, to try to even out the the hardnesses of both of them, so they would be the same. So that this morning I won't be making a fool of myself. What do you lot? <laughs> well, I guess I, I guess I'm already past that stage. So there we have it. You see. Now what I've got to do now is. Can just get one finger in there because you remember I said when I was making I'm going to push down through to the bat on the top section so I've already got that hole there so now what I'm doing is I'm just sticking in one finger with a bit of water can you see what I'm doing carefully slowly pulling pulling this out now don't be in too much of a hurry when you do this because the clay it may be forgiving but just ease it out with water. What we're aiming to do now is to to make a big enough opening so I can squeeze my squeeze my hand in because remember I've got to join this on the inside haven't I so you'll find that when you do this there's probably a bit of a shoulder of clay here a bit of a heel of clay so I'm also slowly drawing a bit of that up Okay, now you can see what's happened. The Lord help me. I can now get my hand in. Now at this point, if you wear a wristwatch on your left hand, take it off. Okay, because it will be a nuisance. Now, with my hand on the inside and my hand on the outside, try to establish. Okay, I'm now going over it again round circles like this okay 
and I'm making sealing, welding if you like, clay welding together the, the two pieces. Alright, now that's as far as I'm going to go in this clip because I'm out of time. Okay folks, we'll see you in the next clip. Thank you.